what is up everybody welcome back to my channel dj kano and we're playing division two and um i just got a pretty amazing phone call from some friends that i have not talked to in a little bit uh one of which i've not seen for a couple years the other i've not seen in over a decade so i'm like pretty hyped and i decided that i wanted to actually make a build um in just in that in that spirit of just like fun and making something cool so uh the thought behind it is i want to make something with the oxidizer we're going to get some purple smoke going and we're definitely going to use some green uh we're going to get a lot of that purple and green going and that's going to probably be from the restore hive so that is the idea right there so it's going to be based around those two skills and what am i going to do with that i i'm actually going to be trying to see if i can get this to work the idea is going to try to get a hardwired build for skills because that's going to be important but i also wanted to be able to do some weapon damage so i want to be able to heal i want to be able to do some damage the oxidizer might not be that strong but it'll be as strong as the restorer hive is going to be so i basically what i need to do is make sure i have red and i have yellow because otherwise if i go too much red then I'm not going to have strong enough skills. If I go too much yellow, then my weapon damage ain't going to work. So uh, I'm going to have to try to find a balance there. Luckily, I was able to get a few good pieces from running in the summit with some of my boys. Thank you guys so much for helping me farm for some hardwired stuff. So I got some really cool hardwired pieces. Let's go and start with this build because it's going to have the BTSU gloves centered around it. Because I'm, I'm running Hive, I want the BTSU there. This makes those the the hive so so cool, uh, in terms of that hive repair, uh, the hive skill haste. So, fifteen percent hive skill haste per skill tier. So for one, I'm gonna keep on the technician because that'll give me that one skill tier there. I'm gonna keep the card; it gives me a skill tier there. So I have two automatic right there. Um, I wish I could have the memento on here because uh, that'll give me a yellow and a red together at the same time. But unfortunately, if I do that, I got to sacrifice the BTSU, so that's not going to happen. So uh, let's see. So I already have two there. I could get away probably with a three yellow and a three red. So what's going to be yellow? What's going to be red? I'm not sure yet. This has got to stay yellow. I can't roll that red. So that's going to be one of the two yellows there. Uh, one of the three yellows there. So uh, let's take a look at uh, let's see the chest and backpack. As you guys, if you guys have checked out my other how to make a build videos um I, I usually center around so what are the things you want so in this case they're the skills it's going to be the btsu those are already solid fixtures i can't sacrifice that for anything else to do what i wanted to do so uh next step is i'm gonna have to go and look at the talents for my backpack and my chest right so right now if you look at the hardwired chest piece uh increases feedback loop skill damage and repair bonus from 10 to 25 that is a big big jump so I'm very sure I want to use the chest piece for this. So I will get skill damage from that and skill repair, which is nice from our oxidizer. So let's take a look at what I got in terms of chest pieces. So let's take a look at my chest pieces. Here's my hardwired right here. So not bad. This is the one I actually, I know for sure I want to use because I already found it earlier. This one's not bad. It's got skill haste, but I want the skill repair and I want to roll, probably, maybe roll this red. I'm not sure yet. So let me put that in my stash and equip it for now. So that is for sure going to be there. Boom. Okay. So that is solid. Let's take a look at the backpack. So backpack is going to look like uh, so short circuit decreases feedback loop from cooldown from 20 to 10 seconds. So that means, um, so it's you see right there, feedback loop. Whenever you use or cancel a skill, your other cool, your other skills cooldown is automatically reduced by 30 seconds while increasing total skill damage and repair by 10%. So now it's 25%, and it says not only for 20, every 20 seconds, but now I can bring it down to 10. So for now, I think I'm going to use a hardwired backpack as well. So we're going to go with that for now, and if we have to modify, we'll modify. So let's see what we got. I think this is the only one that I really have in here. Uh, didn't I guess backpacks weren't as uh, frequent dropping, but that's okay because I, I got one. It's not bad. It's got skill damage on it, so I'm going to take that. Who knows? I might keep this as one of my three skill tier yellows, and I can roll that skill damage maxed out too. So we don't know yet. So, but I definitely know that's the only one I have. So I will equip that backpack right now. Okay, so let's favorite it, equip it. So two pieces done. Um, let's see. I want a four piece hardwired. 
So what is that going to be? It's going to be knee pads, holster, or mask. So we will see which that's going to be. What's going to really help me? So I know that I'm going to get two out of three pieces as hardwired. What is the last one going to be? I don't know yet. What's going to help me? I'm looking for weapon damage, right? So I'm looking for some weapon damage. I already have the, the skill tiers covered. Uh, let's take a look at what I can use in terms of weapon damage. Let's change my sorting to uh, brand. Okay, so let's see what we have right now. And and I'm not going to take from my stash yet. I want to see what's in my inventory first. So I, don't, I haven't talked about this in my other videos, but if you guys are looking to, you know, make extra builds, try to utilize something you already have in your inventory instead of grabbing fresh things from the stash all the time. If you do that, you're just filling up your inventory. Luckily, they gave us more space, but if you can overlap, then overlap, you know? Let's see here. Uh, feature. I don't want feature. I don't want rear. I want... I got a lot of green in here. Not enough red. Okay, so not enough red in here. Let's take a look at holsters. A raw D. I'm not using a sniper rifle. I'm using the capacitor. So maybe because I'm using the capacitor for sure, maybe a Fenris piece might actually be really, really good. This is not bad too, though, because I have skill duration and it's already rolled red with max chance and damage. So this might actually be a good option already too. So it's already built for me because I already have a, a skill a skill hybrid build, yeah? So maybe that Murakami skill duration is nice. It's going to go nicely with the Hive for sure. I don't know how it affects the Oxidizer, but it may. Let's see what else we got here. Nope. Emperor's Guard. This would be good too, though, because it would give me the armor regen. I got skill damage, and it's a tier, and, it, and it's more commie, so I get the skill duration too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Choices, choices, choices. Okay, so I'm looking at, for now, I'm looking at knee pads, or it's going to be holster, because those are the two good Murakami pieces I have. That means, by elimination, this is definitely going to be a hardwired piece for the mask, so I can at least take care of that. Let's go to my masks, take care of, look at my hardwired here. So this is the one that I think I already had selected. So let's take this hardwired out, and go ahead and equip it. Okay, so we know that one, two, th one, two, three, four are set right now, yeah. So let's see what the hardwired pieces are for the D pads, and see what the hardwired pieces are for the holster. Whichever one has the worst piece is gonna be what's gonna be the more commie. Does that make sense? So let's take a look at what we got. So hardwired. I got a lot of hardwired knee pads. So crit chance is actually very nice. I can uh, use that for sure. I got duplicate of crit chance. I don't need that. That's not gonna be maybe. maybe. Um, headshot damage. I don't want headshot damage. Skill damage. So I got a lot of options. I'm going to take this uh, crit chance only because it's it's the only max rolled piece. So that's not bad at all. Uh, let's take a look at the holsters. Hardwired. So right now the hardwired, I got repair skills. I got health. And I got status effects. So you know what? This is actually the worst of the two right now. In uh, for now, at least with the first draft. So I'm gonna take that more. I'm gonna use this Murakami that I already have in my inventory, because it's like I said, it's already rolled red for weapon damage, and I can use that skill duration. So for now, this is what I'm working with. Okay. So these are the pieces that have that have been selected. Uh, well, not the boundary bulwark. Sorry. Let's go turn on my hardwired. Did I say crit chance? Yeah. So I'll put this in the stash. Favorite and equipped. Right, sorry, but this this is now right. So four piece hardwired, BTSU, and uh, Murakami. Right. So we're working with this for now. I don't know if the weapon damage will be enough because these are all skill based pieces. But we're gonna roll some red and we'll see what happens. So I would prefer not to damage the backpack and the chest because I can always reuse this as a another skill build or you know reuse the parts but at the same time this one has the the one that's not a god rolled piece well these two actually the the mask and the mask and the backpack don't have god rolled pieces so those might be the ones that get rolled attributes and maybe i will roll this one the chest and the knee pads as reds does that make sense, right? So I want to roll the skill tier as a weapon, so I have a god roll. If I were to roll the backpack with a weapon damage, it's going to be a max roll weapon damage and then and then a low roll on the skill damage. So I, I would like to have all god rolled if I can. 
so let's take a good look at recalibration all right so let's go over to holster because oh not holster my bad uh knee pad so because it's already there i'm going to roll this as weapon damage hopefully i don't run out of uh electronics so god rolled there gloves not gloves uh was it chest piece chest piece rolled as weapon damage boom god rolled and then backpack i don't know what i want this to be yet so let me look at what i've what i've got rolled for now i just know that those are going to be rolled as weapon damage okay so i have red 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 yellow 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 up here yellow up here so five tier um let's see so i got i got repair skills is rolled this is re repair and skill haste i have uh crits and i have crits so right now i don't have any skill damage do i want some skill damage possibly you know i do probably want some skill damage i got two rolls of repair skills already i got two rolls of crits so maybe these two will be skill damage let's go ahead and do that okay so recalibration station mask let's go to skill damage i don't have enough electronics. you can see it on the bottom so let's go use my shade watch and steal some electronics electronics Thank goodness for my watch. This has been very helpful. Let's stop at 70. Oh, I went too far. All right. Okay. Oh, mask. Skill damage. If I want to modify the pieces uh, and, and roll it differently, I just got to reform. That's all. So no big deal for now. Skill damage. So that right now is at least what I'm considering for my pieces there. Okay, so like I said, uh, basically God rolled everything. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm looking at what do I want to use for my mods. Okay, so my mods, I got like I got two rolls of repair, two rolls of damage, two rolls of crits. I don't have skill haste, so maybe that's what I want to do for my my mods. Okay, press triangle, skill, haste, on the bottom, of course, on the bottom. Okay, so I got a 12 rolled skill haste for sure. I'm going to use that. Okay, I'm considering just rolling it all skill haste for now. Because what are my other options? I could run more crits, but... Oh, actually, let's look at my crits. Let's look at my crits. My crits are 3287, so chance is pretty decent. Do I want to roll one damage? Um... Maybe I do want to roll the damage. Just roll the damage. Just roll the damage. Let's roll a crit damage. One crit damage. They're all 11.6. I got to get better mods for this guy. So now I'm at 32.98. That's not bad, you know, considering this is not a pure red build. And let's go ahead and change this guy out to skill haste as well. Okay, so I got 12.0, 11.0, 11 right. Okay, so right there is my mods all set to go. Capacitor, for sure. Um, because And why, why again capacitor? Uh, because of the fact that it works well with skill tiers. So every skill tier I get weapon damage, not to mention the more shots I get, the stronger my skill damage is anyway. So I definitely want to have that there. Okay, let's take a look at my secondary. I don't really use this, that, that one there, so let's take a look at what else I got. I'm going to be potentially at the somewhat of a distance this is not really a close range build so this could be anywhere actually i could be close range maybe not too close if i'm healing but i also want to be able to shoot so i'm looking for something with a little bit more range i already got an ar so maybe i want maybe i want a rifle or something you know uh, the stoner is not too bad you know i got a future perfect on this one right here and it's got um pretty decent rolls let me take this one I'll take this hunting M44, because if maybe I get one kill at a distance with the uh, marksman rifle, then one skill tier per kill, so I can I can get to I can get to skill uh, skill tier six by just getting a headshot with this guy. So I'll leave that up there too. Okay, let's check my mods. Make sure my mods are good. So skill haste is good. Um, ammunition might be good too. Let's do ammunition for now, and then burn strength. I'm not burning. I just want damage. Oh, is it still on cooldown? Jeez. That's got to be fixed. Okay, let's double check this. I don't want damage on a restore hive. So I want 
healing. I want duration is fine. And repair charges for sure. Let's go back here. And then we got um, damage. Okay, so mods are good. Everything's good. This is basically where I want it to be for now. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. I don't know if I want to replace this build yet. Let's let's make sure we test it out first before we consider replacing that other healer build. Because if this works out nicely, I don't need that healer build. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. I'll leave it. I'll just put it as um, red, yellow. Okay, so in a nutshell, I think I've explained everything, right? So technician, the skill tier, skill tier, feature perfect, capacitor. Yep, I've explained all of these pieces out, why the mods I'm using, why the roles I'm doing, and the skills. So that pretty much encompasses the entire new build. And um, yeah, if um, there are any questions, um, I guess you could ask me if you decided to leave something in the comments. But otherwise... Uh, I'm going to I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to actually uh, dive into the next video where I'm going to be actually displaying how this build works. So let's take a look at this build in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll get I'll check you guys out there. All right. Shoot.